for joining me again for Money Monday. I'm Janae Murphy, financial consultant and co-founder of Hand in Hand Investment Solutions. If this is your first time tuning in to Money Mondays, it's just a time where I offer financial advice and tips to help get you through the week. So this week's topic is about balance transfers. I got a question last week um, to address it in um, this week's feature. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so balance transfers, what are they? You may have received a letter in the mail from either a bank or a credit card company with 0% APR, that's annual percentage rate. And it could have been from a Discover, American Express, they typically send those out pretty often. So a balance transfer is basically um, an incentive or an opportunity or an offer uh, where you can take whatever balance you have on an existing credit card and transfer that balance to a new credit card. So what are some of the pros with this? Uh, one is that you get a much lower percentage rate. So if you have a credit card and the balance um, if the interest rate on it is 21%, if you transfer it to this car, you could potentially have a 0% balance for X amount of months. Usually it doesn't last, you know, forever. Um, after that initial window of a few months, it'll go back up to its normal percentage rate. Um, with having a zero percentage rate, you can potentially save money. For instance, um, I had clients who had transferred their balances from their credit cards to a different credit card. They had done a balance transfer. And as long as they paid that off within 15 months, they would have to pay no interest. So that's one of the pros of it, um, is that you can save money and in the interest you would pay if you keep it on an existing credit card. So what are some of the cons? Um, when you think about credit, there are different factors that make up your credit score. And one of those is new credit, which counts for 15% of your score. So when you do a balance transfer, you're essentially opening up a new credit account. So if you're someone who has multiple credit cards, having another inquiry on your credit profile may not be ideal. But if you're someone who, you know, you've had the same credit cards for years and years and you're just looking to, you know, you know, try a different company out, then it won't hurt you as much. Um, so there's the credit inquiry. Another thing is you do have to pay attention to what the percentage rate is going to be. With most credit cards, they offer some type of incentive with being um, an existing customer. Um, and you may lose that if you switch to a different card. Another thing too is payment history. Say for instance, you transfer a balance of a credit card from one to another, if you close out that old credit card, all of your payment history that you had with that card, if you close it, it's lost. And credit payment history actually accounts for 35% of your score. So uh, one word of advice, you don't wanna close accounts that have been open for a long amount of time because that payment history, if it's favorable, will work in your favor. So those are some things to keep in mind if it's something that you're considering to do. I do know people who have done it and it's been very great for them. I don't really know of, you know, people who it didn't work out for, but it's a case by case basis. Um, you really have to take into account both sides of it, um, but you definitely want to do any, don't want to do anything that's hasty. Um, so thank you once again for tuning in. If you have any questions, you can visit my website uh, at handinhandinvestmentsolutions.com and you can click on the link to submit your question to be addressed in a upcoming Money Mondays series. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time.